What is going on guys? Welcome to another tutorial on how to play goalkeeper in FIFA 14. Now before I start this video, if you guys haven't seen how to play goalkeeper in FIFA 13, it's the exact same controls in FIFA 14. So check that video out first and then make your way over here because today we are going to be analyzing some of the clips that I played, seeing how I could have done better, what my thought process is during the match and some tips and tricks for you guys as you try to become the best keeper in FIFA 14. So let's get started guys. The first aspect of goalkeeping is through balls. Now through balls is the most common way of attack by the AI. So be prepared to be pressing that Y button to run out and grab the ball so that the opponents cannot get a chance to score on you. As we take a look at this clip, you see the through ball, the red line, and you see the attacker calling for the ball. What I should have done was I should have ran out and now as you can see there's a little bit of space in between me and the striker. He can do one of two ways. He can either take a direct shot near post or cut inside and he has the whole right side open. He does end up taking the shot and scoring in the net. Basically what I should have done there was I should have came out earlier and tried to put my full body and block that shot. The second clip, another through ball. And here we have the player, he has two options. He can either go near post or the far post. However, he was at a bad angle and I had a feeling he was gonna go in the far post. One tip that I can guarantee you guys is look for the red circle underneath the player. That means they're about to take a shot. So get ready to choose which way you're gonna dive and save the attempt. Do not hit that right stick early because you will go out of position. Wait till they lift that leg up and they're about to shoot. That's the best time to save the ball. Here we have another case of a bad angle shot. He only has one option to go near post and I was covering it right there. Easy save for me. That counts and it definitely helps out your attributes. Throughout the game, you guys gotta be on top of things because look at that through ball. I was right on top of it and all he can see is my body putting the shot straight at me. Another lob into the box. I see it all the way, pressing that Y button and coming out to collect it so the attacker cannot get a shot. We don't want shots to happen on the net. We want a clean sheet. That's what we're striving for in these matches. Again, I see a through ball. I'm making my way to that striker. Luckily, I did press Y a little late. The striker missed the ball and I was right there. He just shot it at me. And again, bad angle shot. All I had to do was block it and he ended up even missing the chance. He didn't even get it on target. Your presence can confuse the opponents and they can make mistakes just like that. Onto the second type of opposition coming your way, crosses. A lot of people have been asking me, how do you deal with crosses? My general rule is if the ball is near the six yard box, I am getting it, trying to grab the shot. Sometimes, Obviously, it doesn't work out and they do end up scoring, but don't worry. It's all part of the learning process. Eventually, you're going to come out, save those chances, and your match rating is going to be higher. You're going to have a better score and you might come away with clean sheets. And ultimately, your team is going to come away with some wins, which is definitely going to help you on your league title runs. One-on-ones are one of the scariest things a goalie can have happen to him. Being one on one with the striker, you don't know where they're going, you just have to guess and sometimes it could lead to an awkward rebound where they just put it in the back of the net, nothing you can do there. You're on the ground, there is no chance to save that shot. However, as you can see, one on one with Martin here, he has one of two options, he can go either right or left, just have to guess, I guessed right, left side and I saved the attempt. Again, I can't stress this enough. Wait for that red circle to appear on the striker before making your move. Otherwise, you will be out of position. And as soon as you see that leg lift up, they're coming for a strike and you have to pick the right way. Hopefully looking at these pictures will give you an idea of where the AI is thinking of shooting. Mainly they're trying to go for the open spaces. So try to dive in those areas. And finally, the easiest type of saves in my opinion 
long shots, you have so much time to see them coming. I mean, they are very easy. Yes, they are powerful, but they take a long time to get towards the net and you can see them coming all the way. They shouldn't be a problem for you. Even if you do react late, you can still get those chances. And that's it guys, those are the shots that you will be facing in a goalkeeper career. Hopefully this video was helpful. I don't know if the tips will be of any help to you, but if it did, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later. What? What the f***? What's that?